Hello everyone, let's quickly go over what is Logit and Softmax. If you are working on the deep learning model for the multi-class classification, you might heard about the Softmax and the Logit. And here is the example. We have the input, which is this cute dog. We have the input layer, we'll take the vectorized value of this input. We have the hidden layer, and we have the last layer. Let's suppose we don't have the activation yet. Then we have the range from the minus infinity to the plus infinity for the upper values here. We can say the input is the dog here because we have the greatest value from the upper layer here. Well, we can also have the minus value because the range is starting from the minus infinity. In this example, we have the minus 2 for the rabbit. This is not the greatest situation for us because we want to have the probability from the upper layer. Then how can you have the probability from this uh, minus infinity to the plus infinity range? Well, if you are familiar with binary classification, you might heard about the sigmoid function. And we can have this sigmoid function as an activation function of this last layer. Then you can have the probability. Say we have the 85% for the dog, which is the greatest of probability from this neural network. So we can say the input is the dog here. Well, this may be a good solution when you want to output multiple possible outputs, something like multi-label classification, but it is not a good solution when you want to output only one item. For multiple class classification, the good solution is to have probability distribution of a predicted output classes. We call it softmax. So if you are summing up of this example of output values, that will be exactly one here. So we can say it is the, the probability distribution of a predicted output classes and that we can we can say every values here as a probability for each classes. So let's talk about softmax and uh, before talking about the softmax we need to understand the logit first because logit is the input to the softmax. In the statistics there is a term logit and the probability and once you have the probability you can convert the probability to the logit. Uh, there's the equation here and when the probability is 0% the logit is like a minus infinity and when the probability is like 100% the logit is plus infinity. Also, you can check here from the graph and the logit is like uh, monotonically increasing with a probability here. That means uh, if the deep learning model has a logit, we can use the logit as a score for the probability. So we can think about the last layer from the last example as a logit layer here. And we can get the probability using this equation. So let's get the probability. Then you can get like the 98.2% for the dog and the probabilities for the cat and the rabbits are in this example. So you can say the input is a dog in this example, but this situation is very similar to having the sigmoid function at the end. Uh, this is not the probability distribution of all predicted class. Just summing all the probabilities is not the one here. So we need softmax. Softmax guarantees that summing up all the output values is the one. So what is the softmax? Well, we can use the e to the power of the logit as an input to the softmax. And you can see from this chart that the e to the power of the logit also is uh, monotonically increasing with the probability. We can use this as a score from the deep learning model as well. And if e to the power of the logit is a score, the high score will have much more probability and low score will have less probability. This is also benefit of the softmax for the deep learning model for this situation. When you are training well, for the multi-class classification, we normally use the one-hot encoding for the y value. For example, the dog, y, dog value in one-hot encoding is something like 1, 0, 0. You want to compare this one with your predicted value. By using the softmax, it will exaggerate the probability and will the highest probability will be very close to the 1 and the low probability will be close to the 0. So it will have to uh, optimize the deep learning model during the training as well. And the other questions I'm getting is why e? Uh, can we use 2 or 3 some number as base here? Yes, you can use any number which is greater than 0 as base here. But we consider the last layer value as logit here, right? 
And uh, you can see the equation here as well here. We have the E as a base of this log. E is nothing but just like mathematical constant. And uh, having E as a base makes sense and easy to calculate as you can see from this uh, equation as well. So let's calculate this softmax. Softmax is just like a normalized probability here. So we can have the denominator like the e to the power of the 4 plus e to the 2 plus e to the minus 2 from this example. And we can get the normalized probability here. So the softmax for the dog is like a 0.879 and for the cat is 0.119 and for the rabbit is 0 0.002. Summing up of this value will be 1 now, and we can now say this is the probability for each class for all of the predicted classes here. Well, so softmax output represents the deep learning model's confidence on the class here. Okay, so here's the takeaway. Softmax gives the probability distribution of a predicted output classes, and the final layer in the deep learning has logic values which are the raw value for prediction by softmax and the logic is the input to the softmax. That's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.